Hey guys, Ernie here and welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. I've said over the years many times that solid fuel and solid fuel stoves are very much underappreciated for many situations like in the backcountry, traveling, or during emergencies. I've looked at quite a few solid fuel stoves over the years and today we're going to continue our top five series by looking at my top five solid fuel stoves. Thanks for watching guys. Now, as with several of my other top five videos, we're not just going to discuss the top five stoves. We're going to look kind of at the top stove in one of five categories. Categories include the best budget stove, the best ultralight stove, the best eco-friendly stove, the best flat folding stove, and what I'll call the one-stop shop stove. I'll also mention that we won't be including any solid fuel stove kits. We're looking just at the stoves themselves. If you guys are interested in a top five video on what I think are the top five solid fuel stove kits, then make sure you let me know down below. Lastly, before we start looking at these, I'll emphasize this is not a review of these five stoves. I have full reviews of each of these on the channel and I'll leave a link down below to each of those videos. So if you wanna know more information about any of them, make sure you check down below. So let's start with our best budget stove. This is the original Esbit Ultralight Folding Pocket Stove. The stove's been around a very long time. As far as I could see, it was designed in Germany in like the 1930s. Although you can buy it new for about $12, you can pretty frequently find it at army surplus stores. I found it at what I think is the best army surplus store around, which is Omaha Surplus in Fort Worth. I paid $3 for it. You can see this one has been around the block. Opens up just like that to store the fuel. And you also put the fuel right on top here and you can adjust this to hold your pot on top. Dimensions are 3.75 by 2.9 by 0.75. And the weight alone like this is three and one eighth ounces. It is five and one quarter ounces with three solid fuel tablets stored inside. It is made out of galvanized steel and is made in Germany, at least this one is. The fuel it uses is these 14 gram solid fuel tablets, which is what we'll use in all of our testing today, except for one particular, which I'll show you guys. The benefits of this, it is compact, very lightweight, holds the fuel inside, and readily available secondhand, like I said, so you can get it pretty cheap. No assembly required, and it is just a classic solid fuel stove. Let's boil up two cups of water using one of our 14 gram solid fuel tablets. Next, we will go to our ultralight stove, the best ultralight stove. Look at this little bitty thing. We'll go ahead and open it up. It just has three legs. You can pretty much position these in whatever way you want. They rotate pretty freely. Just a little triangle like that will work perfect. Dimensions are 3.3 by 1.1 and the weight is 11.5 grams or 0.4 ounces. It is made out of titanium and made in China. Also uses the same 14 gram solid fuel tablets designed to fit right in that little tray right there. Price is $23, so pretty steep, but that's pretty common when you're looking at ultralight stuff. The benefits, of course, it is insanely lightweight. It's also very, very compact and can easily fit inside of your cook kit. You will wanna put it inside of a plastic bag or its carrying case because you don't want any of this solid fuel residue around any of your food or your cook pots that might come into contact with food. Of course, in the field, like with all of these solid fuel stoves, you'll want to use some kind of windscreen. We're not going to do it here because there's not much wind going on inside. But let's go ahead and boil two cups of water with this ultralight stove. Next, we'll look at what I'm calling the best eco-friendly stove. This is the Fire Dragon Multi-Fuel Cooker. Pretty new addition to my kit, and I also have a pretty new review of this. Looks somewhat like the Esbit. As you can see, it's a little bit bigger, 
but it is quite a bit different. This is British military gear. It's designed for use with what's called Fire Dragon Solid Fuel, which is environmentally green. It's clean burning. It's based off of alcohol. Let me show you guys what it looks like. This is the Fire Dragon um, Cube. It is, like I said, alcohol based, so it's very, very easy to get lit. You can light it with just a flint striker, which you can't do with these solid fuel tablets. You really need a, a flame, a decent flame to get it going. Opens up just like the Esbit. It does have a very nice feature, which is this. This is a windscreen, so you pop it in like this, and then you close this down, and you have one side that is completely blocked from the wind, so if you position this correctly, it really works well. You can, of course, use it with a regular Esbit cube. They also sell some that are longer, but it is designed to use the Fire Dragon fuel. Dimensions are 3.3 by 4.5 by 1, and the weight is 3.9 ounces. It is made out of galvanized steel, and I'm not sure where it is made. I could not find it. If you guys can figure that out, that would be great. It does use these 27 gram Fire Dragon tablets, or you can use the Fire Dragon fuel gel. Price of this stove is a very impressive $6, a pretty good deal. Benefits, it's compact, it's got the integrated wind block, it's compatible with pretty much any solid fuel, like I said. Uh, you really can't use this type of fuel with a traditional Esbit stove. The reason is, not only the size, but these Esbit stoves have holes, and these holes, once this uh, alcohol-based fuel starts to burn, it just kind of oozes, and it will ooze straight out the bottom and cause a pretty significant fire hazard. But this stove will work with pretty much any solid fuel you get out there. It's got a nice big chamber. It will hold three different fuel tablets inside of it. The other really good thing is that this stuff does not have any fishy smell at all. It is very well packaged. And like I said, it's safe to be stored with food. It wouldn't rub it all over your food, but it is safe to do that. Let's boil some water with this really cool Fire Dragon multi-fuel cooker. Now we will look at the most versatile flat folding stove. This is the Esbit Ultralight pot stand with tray for solid fuel. You can also use it with an alcohol stove. It's kind of infamous because it is exceedingly expensive right now. I have no idea why, we'll talk about that. It folds flat and I already have it put together. It's got these three sheets, folds flat, comes with a nice little carrying case. Again, if you want real details about it, I'll leave a link down below to a full review. Dimensions are 4.9 by 4.3 by 3.9, and the weight is a very nice 30.3 ounces. It's made out of stainless steel, and I believe that this model is made in Germany, but don't hold me to that. It is designed to use the 14 gram solid fuel tablets, or you can take this tray out, which makes it very nice, and put your Trangia right in there. It fits perfectly into these little grooves and pops right in there. Price, as I said, is currently $70 on Amazon, and it's been about that for a while now. I guess it's just a supply and demand thing. Pretty crazy, certainly not worth that. Worth the, I think, $20, $22 I paid for it two years ago. The benefits is it does fold flat. It's a very high quality, easy to put together, and it's nice because it has integrated wind protection for your solid fuel or your alcohol stove. Uh, since you have these walls and it sits down a little bit ways in there, it has kind of a built-in wind resistance. You're also able to use alcohol burners, like I said, and that allows this to be a pretty versatile pot stand. Let's go ahead and get some solid fuel in here and boil two cups of water. Now we'll talk about what I call the one-stop shop stove. Not surprising if you follow this channel at all, this is the Firebox Nano. Now before you cry foul and say this is a wood stove, you're absolutely right, it is a wood stove, but it is also a wood stove that is specifically designed to be used as a solid fuel stove as well. Dimensions are 4.75 by three by one quarter inch when it's folded like this. Weight is four ounces, it is made here in the USA. Some of these stoves are made in the USA, some are made in China. The fuel it's designed for is a 14 gram solid fuel, tablets similar to the other Esbits. Uh, it also of course can use a Trangia. It's designed to hold the Trangia perfectly and of course its main fuel is wood but since you can do all of the different ones it's very nice. Let me back you up a little bit. Here we go. Open this up. You see how quickly and easily 
it just pops open and boom, you pop that down and you have it. You can put your wood there. What you do for solid fuel is you get these little fire sticks along the side right here, like that. I'm trying to do this with the camera, guys. Here we go. It actually is very, very easy. There you go. And then it comes with this solid fuel plate, okay? You just have to make sure you put it in the direction it's supposed to go, which is, which is just like this. And there you have your solid fuel plate right on top. Cost is $69.99 plus $6 for the solid fuel plate. You can get it cheaper in stainless steel. As far as benefits go, it folds flat, super lightweight, multi-fuel, made in the USA. If you get one of them that is made in the USA, they, they explain on their website why some are made in the USA and some are not. Um, we're gonna go ahead and use this stove to boil two cups of water. It should hold the solid fuel at the perfect height or depth just below the pot itself. So let's boil some water and then we'll talk about these five stoves. go if you can't find a stove that meets your needs in this very impressive and varied list of solid fuel stoves sorry I couldn't help you out they each have their place if you're looking for a stove for example for your bug out bag something you can leave in there it doesn't cost a lot of money but very functional go get yourself an old esbit stove from one of these military surplus stores you can put quite a bit of esbit fuel in there it doesn't cost very much it lasts pretty much forever and it's a great option in that setting are you looking for something that's so light you won't even know you're carrying it well it's pretty hard to beat the esbit ultralight stove it's pretty pricey don't get me wrong but it weighs hardly anything and if you're looking for a stove that can pretty much do everything it's really hard to beat the Firebox Nano. You can get the titanium version like I got to get it a little bit lighter weight, or you can pick up the stainless steel version, which is quite a bit cheaper, but has all the same functionality. I have several other videos in my top five series, so make sure you check that playlist down below and also check my stove playlist, well over hundred videos on that stove playlist, looking at all kinds of stoves, not just solid fuel stoves, but upright canister stoves, remote canister stoves, wood stoves, all kinds of stoves. Do me a big favor guys, if you like this video and if you like the top five series, hit the thumbs up down below. Really, really helps my videos and helps spread things across YouTube. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscription button. And if you wanna make sure you don't miss any videos, hit that notification bell and you will be the first to know. Really enjoying the new shop space. It's a lot smaller than I expected. It's not at all what I wanted per se, but sometimes in life, you just have to deal with the best you got and this is what I have right now. So I'm enjoying it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, stay tuned for more videos here on Paleo Hiker MD.